Hey everyone, this is Lucky70X. Uh, welcome to the closing video of The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. It's been a fun Let's Play, but unfortunately, this is where it ends. Uh, we saw the finale in the extra video last time. It was all good, and um, I mean, it's a lot of repetition of what I said it during the credits. I mean, it's a, it was a really fun project. Yes, I do consider it an inferior Zelda game, but it's still a really fun game regardless. I still had a really good time. The plot and the characters, yeah, I mean, there's been better, but they're still lovable and fun, and I still the cutscenes has that kind of Wind Waker-esque humor. I mean, they still did a decent job. It's just a little too hand-holdy and a little too cliche, and it kind of rips off uh, Link's Awakening a bit. I was going to say Wind's Awakening. That's not even a remotely close to a title of a video game. But that's a... Oh, hey, maybe it is, but it's not a Zelda game, and that's what matters. So uh, that was, you know, just... Wrap up, you know, thoughts of that, but, uh, before we get to more thoughts, you know, there's a failure montage that I should, uh, get to, you know, talking about, so let's go ahead and start that failure montage with, and th there's a lot of interesting fails, uh, I actually went on Twitter and got some suggestions as well, so a lot of your suggestions are mixed in here as well, thanks for all the awesome suggestions, uh, but, uh, definitely some silly things happening, we're gonna go ahead and recap all of them now, or at least the top five, with failure number five, not so amazing. So keep an eye on the top screen while you're. Oh god, it's beeping! No! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Oh, come. Oh god, I didn't have enough time! Oh! A natural disaster yet. We're done. Okay. New game plan, guys. I have it this time, I swear. Oh, I just royally botched it up. I, I missed a few really key steps early on that really screwed things over. Okay, that's ten done. Oh, I don't know where- I think I've missed one. I don't know which one I've missed, though. I can't think of which one I've missed. Oh, no. Is there one I've missed? I don't know. There's twelve. I know where thirteen is. Where's fourteen, though? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I know where thirteen is. I don't know where fourteen is. Which one did I miss? Which one did I miss? Oh, it's beeping already. No! No! Is it, was it what, this one over here that I missed? Was it this one over here that I missed? No, it wasn't. Okay, I don't know which ones I missed now. Crap! Oh, I'm botching all of this up here. Oh, no! Failure montage highlights. 13? No, come on! Oh, at least I hit 14 here. At least I hit the 14th one. There's no chance I'm gonna get the church just in time, but I've hit the 14th one. I got the chest to spawn. But I'm gonna run out of time. Okay, well, damn it. Failure number four Fool's Gold. So it turns out, guys, uh, basically by selling all of the treasures I had, I didn't have to sell a single shit part, just every single treasure I owned, as you can see here. By the way, here's our uh, gem count, by the way. We have. 17, 16, and 15. Not too shabby if I say so myself. Uh, but yeah, sold every single treasure I own and it gives me just enough rubies to get this golden ship part. It's very exciting. And that's gonna help our point total too, so I mean, there is that perk as well. Um, that's not the one I want. I want this one. Oh, this is exciting. Oh, this is exciting. Oh, this is exciting. The arch handrail ship part has been gotten. Golden ship part achieved. Life is good. So let's see how many points I get for this. This should skyrocket my points. 175, need 25 more. Maybe by the end of the game I can get one last ship part. That'd be kind of cool. So let's confirm that this is indeed part of the uh, the set we're looking for. So arch rail. Wait. You aren't even a part of it. Well, I'm reloading my save right now then, because that's stupid. Whoops. So that basically means that uh, this part is actually just worth 1,500 rupees. It's just a really rare part to get. It's not actually a golden part, which I thought was a little strange thinking about it, that the arch handrail would be just, wow, I feel dumb now. I spent all that time getting rupees for no reason whatsoever. 
I'm reloading a save so I don't actually buy this because I saved before I, I bought this just on the off chance something because I, I had a gut feeling that Beetle was going to screw me over and he did. Wow, that's going to failure montage. Failure number three, Big Fish! So nothing too difficult. We finished off this evil, vile incarnation. <gasps> Big Swordfish! Detour time. No! No, I don't want to go! No! I don't want to go! No! 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 Why did you do this? Oh, the torture! It was down there. I could have gone and had a chance at Neptuna, but I was automatically taken into this area. Oh. Oh, sad day. Oh, sad day. Oh, that hurts. That hurts my very soul. Oh. Oh. Damn it. We missed out on a chance to get the big fish because it's now gone. Failure number two. Celia, you're not very good at this. But yeah, see? Hidden island right here that uh, is not on the map. So are we going to notice the island? Celia. I am stuck on the boat. I, okay, apparently we're not allowed to forcibly dock here, apparently you have to see the island from a distance, or you'll run straight into the island. Celia, notice, oh, hey, look, there's an island right there, I only ran face first into it with a boat, that's just, <laughs> Celia, you had one job, one, one job, and that was to point out the islands, <laughs> actually apparently we're, <laughs> Well, we certainly docked well, the most certain... Ugh. What a way to end an episode! And failure number one, almost perfection. Now the entrance is open, our only goal at this point is to essentially run as fast as we can to this thing, grab it, come down, throw it right in th Don't go through the doorway! Oh no! I've messed everything up, because it doesn't count because it's still on the collection screen. You have to break it before you go through the doorway. Damn it! So that was the failure montage for this game. Plenty of silly shenanigans happening, but that seems to happen every Let's Play. It's, it boggles my mind that I can always come up with five pretty awesome fails every single project, no matter how long, how short, no matter what happens. I can always think of five fails. It's just, it's interesting, you know, no matter how, I don't, you know, try to fail. Stuff like, you know, seeing you right into the wall of an island, or me, you know, messing up the perfect speedrun, that doesn't happen on purpose. Sometimes I just fail, sometimes the game fails, it's just beautiful all around. Sometimes I do what I do with Shadows of All, man, I just completely erase the footage, which, by the way, for those of you who are still wondering, uh, I am slowly working on that. Uh, getting the next projects together has been higher priority, though, so it still should be quite some time, but uh, it's going to be something I'm going to start to work on a lot more heavily now. So that is coming in the future. But that doesn't have anything to do with Phantom Hourglass, uh, so we're not going to go ahead and mention that there. Basically, uh, in case you guys are, for some, you know, those of you who are watching now and those of you who are watching in the, you know, in the past... Who are not in the past? That that makes no sense. Who those of you who are watching in the future, maybe going through my projects in order. Uh, this is going to be one of the last projects that I use my current editing style with uh, the whole zoom in and zoom out thing. I am going to be uh, changing to the style I did for other 3ds LPs uh, in general, and the style that most people these days do DS and 3ds LPs, mostly just due to time constraints and other things, and just I feel like I can make an overall better quality thing when I'm not spending 90% of the time on videos just solely on editing zoom-ins and zoom-outs. It leaves me with very little room to maneuver. So on and so forth. And also more time for streams and whatnot when I do that. So just another reminder that, that, uh, that that's going to be changing next project. And uh, we have some good projects coming up as well. I might actually release a quick update video shortly after this one just to let you guys know uh, the status of a few projects that you guys have been looking forward to. They are coming soon. But I'll give you guys kind of a schedule there. But I'm going to do that as a separate video because people who are watching in the future, I mean, obviously you know what I've done next because you're in the future. Lucky you. But yeah, like I've said, it's been a really fun project. Strange Zelda game. One of the weaker Zelda games for sure. 
but still a good game. And if you're still a Zelda fan, definitely check it out. It's still definitely worth a play. So I hope you guys enjoyed the project. It's had some pretty good positive feedback. As always, you guys are always awesome of how positive you are and how much you love what I do no matter what I do and no matter how slowly I put up the videos at times. So uh, I always appreciate that. Thanks for watching, guys. It's been an awesome experience, and there'll be more experiences to come. God, what LP is this now? Like number 20 almost, probably? It's Holy crap, we've gone a long way, guys. 20 is probably an understatement. I might have done more than that at this point. Who knows? But uh, there'll be plenty more to come, I think. So... We're going to look forward to the future and see what happens uh, in the next project. So, this closing video has had very little to do with the game that I've been closing out, but, I mean, what is there really to say that I've already said? Um, it's been fun times, and I appreciate all of the people who've watched it. So, uh, as always, follow Twitter, because I've actually been pretty vocal on there lately. I stream usually Fridays, uh, currently, although, you know, my stream schedule might change in the future. Who knows? So try to keep an eye on my Twitch or whatever else I use to stream in the future and check those out and uh, so on and so forth. I always appreciate you guys following me on everything I do. And the more I get to communicate, you guys, the happier I think we all are. So it works out pretty nicely. So do that. And I will see you guys in the next projects to come. This is Lucky70X signing out. See you guys in the next project. But for now, Phantom Hourglass is complete. See you guys. Bye-bye.